Hey guys, uh, here's another Altair video, and today I want to show you how I do Altair development on my PC computer because I have reached the point where I'm doing files that are just too big to comfortably do on the Altair 8800. Okay, so right now I'm going to uh, start by turning on the Altair 8800. Uh, let's just go here. Oh, that's right. Plug it in. Okay. So let's do this. Altair. Let us. Let's see. Load config six. Yes. Then I need to go here. Yes. Cool, and now I think all I have to do is mount my disk, and then boot. Cool, I am now in, and I will switch back. Hmm. <coughs> so now I have uh, the Altair 8800 up and running. Um, I open up um, Notepad, because that has my... Um, code then I keep I keep why I keep uh, putty open so I can send over the program and I open up uh, command prompt and here I'm gonna go to my sim disk desktop strives H and I will boot uh, sim, I will boot SimH into CPM. Um, I will have a link in the description of my uh, SimH folder. So if you want to follow along, uh, you are more than welcome to. It's all configured. Um, you just download it, do, do what I'm doing, and then boom, you have a CPM machine running either a Z8 or an 88 machine uh, directly on your own PC. So I do Altair, do CPM2. And there, that's my CPM machine. And of course, you know, you have to have your low fly beast suddenly relax too while you're programming because, you know, what else are you going to do? Okay, so this is the workflow. Uh, say that I have found a bug or something in my vast file here, which is why I turn, by the way. Um, and I want to fix it. So I have identified that the bug here is that this code right here doesn't work correctly it basically crashes out to it doesn't crash out it returns to cpm instead of going to uh instead of going to the previous menu which i want i want to go from options to main menu not options to cpm so what i can do is i can just go ahead and change it so, right, menu. Call right main menu. And then here I'm going to add the label. Uh, clear screen pop H. Jump menu, main menu. Okay, and then once that's done, I go over here and do R way term by ASM. R and R and W are two files that are inside of SimH. Uh, they allow you to read and write files from your own directory to the uh, to the uh, virtual machine. Uh, then. Sm y term load y a term and then y a term let's try it out seems to work now that I have the binary I can write it out so w y term dot com that writes it out then I go here to putty pc get y a term dot com um, this allows you to 
This allows you to send over uh, files over Xmodem at 9600 baud. Sending over. Mm. Transfer is complete. And now uh, let's try running it. I expanded the window because you know it requires an 80, 80 by 25 terminal. Looks good. Look at that. Options. Then if I hit E to go back to the main menu. Looks good. And uh, that's it. That's my workflow for uh, the Altair 8800 right now. Um, it's much faster uh, than working directly on the 8800 directly. Uh, but of course, you know, it sort of has lost that charm. Um, I have not set up a cross assembler quite yet. Uh, that will be the next thing. But right now, this seems to be working just fine. And I can quickly debug uh, problems using SimH instead of having to wait and send everything over uh, to the Altair. Good. That should be it, and I'll see you next time.